All right, and welcome back to the Sports Wrap. Joined now by Seth Griffith of the Providence Bruins, currently leading the team in scoring and tied for the entire AHL in scoring. What has clicked for you this year? Um, you know, I think just chemistry with the Lions early on. Um, I, I think we went through a little rough patch. We were struggling a bit, but um, as the season uh, started picking up, uh, the Lions um, um, stayed the same mm -hmm. pretty consistently. So everybody's gelling, and it's, uh, it's been fun. Right now, you guys are fourth in the Atlantic Division. Six weeks left in the regular season. You were saying earlier off camera, you know, you're a little banged up. Everyone is this time of year. Is this kind of like the dog days of the season? You kind of really try to stick it out to, to make that run before playoff time? Yeah, I mean, we're pushing for a playoff spot right now. Um, you know, we're up there. We, we went on a really good run there, 16 games with a point in every game. Mm -hmm. So that's huge, um, you know, in the... Uh, the middle of the season especially you can't let those games slip away. Spent 30 games with the Boston Bruins last year. Tell me about that experience and what you learned being up with the big club. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's quite an adjustment. I mean going from junior to the AHL was mm -hmm. uh, a big adjustment and then um, making the jump from the AHL to the NHL is, is an even bigger adjustment so um, the guys are just bigger, stronger, faster and um, that, you know, that's what you work for in the off season. You try and you try and prepare yourself to put your put yourself in the best position possible to make the team. And um, you know, I, I was glad I got a little taste last year, yeah. but hopefully, I get back up there soon. NHL trade deadline is Monday. You hear Louis Erickson's name floated out there a lot. Um, do you pay attention to that stuff as a guy who's doing so well at the AHL level? Read blogs or any posts out there to see maybe I could be moved, or you kind of try to block it out? Yeah, I'm not really one of those guys that looks up stuff like that. Um, if it happens, it happens, but um, I'm really happy here in mm -hmm. uh, the Bruins organization. They've done a lot for me and helped a lot with my development so far. And, um, you know, like I said, uh, I hopefully my development can continue down here in Providence. And then when I get my chance in Boston again, hopefully I stay. Have you been impressed with the crowds at, at the Donk and, and, and general P. Bruins fans and hockey knowledge in the area? Yeah, for sure. I mean, getting 8,000 fans plus a game is, uh, you know, always fun. You, you're excited on game days at home. You're excited to go to the rink. So, um, you know, the fans are, are what push you every game. And, um, you know, I can't say enough about them. You know, when we're down, they're always cheering for us. And when we're up, you know, they're still going as well. So um, it's a lot of fun and it gets pretty loud in there too. All right, Seth, uh, good luck this weekend against Bridgeport and continued success with the P. Bruins. We'll have much more coming up on the Sports Wrap right after this.